in that one and try and get a little bit of momentum for next week. Yeah. I suppose the 10 minutes before half time, things seem to be going against you. They've got seven or eight points year one and uh, took the lead in at half time. Were you any bit worried at that stage? Or? Yeah, well, well, I wouldn't say we were worried, but like, it was at this point and uh, we'd, we'd actually we'd started very well for the first 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, and we're in a good position, but uh, like we, we knew coming up there we were a good team, which we winning the last couple of under 21 championships in three or four county seniors, so they were always going to get a run on us, run on us at, this, at, that, uh, at some stage, and at half time probably came at a good stage for us. Uh, we can get back in and, and reset a bit, and we came out a little better in the second half and kind of get two or three points in front and stay at that, that level for the rest of the match. Then. Your experience of being together for so long, I suppose, over the last number of years, showed up as well in the second half because you seem to find each other better and you know you've added a couple of new fellas as well that shouldn't be with Ryan and Ryan Cancelay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The bulk of the team have played in six or seven county finals between both codes, so like, we're, def we're definitely experienced and as I said, Re Ryan played very well there and Deerham have seen them score seven or eight points, like, so it's great to get those lads in. They got their first taste last year and they're a bit more experienced this year, so a great boost to have and uh, really helped us. I suppose for a club like Fratford in uh, you know, a strong dual club, the uh, hope would be to take the club in the next round and to give you a straight hit to the quarter final and have a bit of a break. Yeah, absolutely. I suppose the goal now after winning our first two rounds in Ireland football is to win the next two and have a couple of weeks off between the quarter finals. It would be the ideal scenario, but uh, we've planned to get out in football, which is a big match, and uh, who knows? We, obviously, we don't know who we're playing in Ireland yet, but with the Ireland Championship being so strong, there'll be two tough matches. So. The week of hurling, then now headed hurling next week, and then we'll go back to the football. But we're delighted to have got two wins since that happened. Yeah. How did you feel the pressure off you know that they're kind of know to have won that first game because there's a lot of big teams going to go down today? No, I wouldn't say pressure like we're not thinking, we aren't thinking about the relegation or going into the next round and looking at relegation, like it's just getting on to the next round and hitting for the quarter finals. Like, so yeah, uh, like there was there was a good, a good few tough draws in the first round, as you say. So. We'll probably have another tough round in, in the next round, so uh, yeah. just looking forward to that now. After after the heroics in Croke Park and and and, 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 and the almost in, in Turles, I suppose it's great. It's good to get back with your club. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's great to uh, be in Kings Park with a nice crowd around for a triple header today with three big matches and uh, a lovely day for it. So yeah. it's very enjoyable. Yeah, well done, Connor. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.